Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Master Brennan. So, it is the last day of 2018 and I've like done nothing this year. Like seriously, I've hardly filmed any videos and I just haven't had any time to do that. Um, but today, there's something that sort of happened. So my dad found like two boxes of my old school books and I thought, why not? go through them since it's sort of like the end of 2018 and I need to throw some of this stuff out I think well maybe since it's like stuff from like so long ago um, I don't know if I can throw it out basically I'm one of those families who just hoards everything so these are like everything from my school years seriously it's a massive banana box and also another box. I don't know if I have time to like go through all of them. I'm just gonna like go through some stuff and just share some of my childhood life with you guys because um, yeah I'm actually pretty interested because I haven't actually seen any of this since back then. <laughs> it kind of just got stored away after the year. So yeah let's get started. So <laughs> one thing I need to mention is that until I got into high school I used to cover all my books so I had Dragon Ball GT and Dragon Ball Z like cover, which is really cool. It says room 7, so I think I was in year 5, so I would have been 9 or 8. This book is just like handwriting, so it's not that interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go for this because it's a journal. Okay, this is the first entry in my journal. So this is Thursday of 10th of February 2005. I have no idea why I wrote. Okay. In my spare time, I like to sleep, watch TV, play on the computer, play games, and I like to do some other things. Like what? <laughs> Sometimes at night time, I read at night so I don't get sleepy because once I started... What? Oh, once I stayed 3am, then I have to go to sleep. What? <laughs> what? I have no idea. Oh, I think this was back when... I just came back from Malaysia and so I was staying up really late so I think I stayed up until 3am. I think that's what I meant but the teacher she like stayed. I put like, I don't even know why I wrote but she put stayed and it still doesn't make sense but I stayed up until 3am. Correction. In the morning I like to watch TV when I get up so I watch all of the cartoons. After all of the cartoons finish I go on the computer and I always go on the internet and the game I like to play is Neopets and I found that for a long time. I close the computer when the internet doesn't work. Okay, that's very back when dial-up internet was a thing. Then when some other cartoons are on TV or afterwards I watch DVDs or videos back when VHS tapes were a thing. Um, when I watch DVDs, I like to watch The Incredibles. <laughs> After that, I have tea, then I watch The Simpsons. After that, sometimes I like to play a game, and after that, we go to bed. But when I am in bed, I like to play with my toys, then I go to sleep. Okay, <laughs> uh, that was back in 2015, first day of the 10th. Oh my gosh, that really was my days. I used to just we watch DVDs over and over again. Oh my gosh, what's this one? At this Easter, me and my sister went to my grandparents' house with my mum and dad and my cousins were there. We had a white chocolate bunny and one of my cousins smashed ears off. The day that my cousins were leaving, we had an Easter egg hunt. My dad had some of it. Some of it was in the mailbox and my sister found it. It must have had a hole. In the bottom of the plastic bag. This is all I can write. Okay, that one's not interesting. Okay, this one's interesting. It's like poetry, but there's poet like po okay. This is like a poetry book I did in year five, so yeah, I was still like eight or nine. The teacher gave us a poem and then we used to like do interesting sort of stuff while you're seeing anyway. I remember this. Um so you I used to like doing these like fold out things. I do like this poem because it makes pictures in my head. This poem has three verses. In the two verse, our oh, second verse, it says to you three times. I noticed that this poem uses simple words and is easy to read. What's that? I have no idea. Look. <laughs> 
Oh, this is weird. Keep a poem in your pocket. In the picture in your head. Oh, this one. Okay, that's just weird. I did keep a poem in your head. I did a little sucky thing here. Pocket. And then I just did that. That's weird. That's weird. Flip here anyway. You can flip that out. It's like a curtain. Okay. This one is just black. This one. Some witch. Okay, that's weird. I don't even know what I'm thinking. This is weird. Oh, this one. I remember this one. So. I don't know why, but I like to hide the poems, like, I just put in the, <laughs> but basically, Ladybug, then it says more, coming soon, and then, there's like a tree thing, no Ladybug, and then more, I have no idea why I did that, yeah, I don't know why I did, I'm crazy, eh, oh, this one's a nice one, it's like a sort of paper mache thing, I don't know, I keep hiding my poems. <laughs> oh, Flanders Field. I made it into like a little book. This is Brennan's artwork. Which I haven't seen in ages. I'll use blue tack. I don't wanna... Oh! Is this Flanders Field? I think so. That's like a skateboard, I think. Wow, this is like really colourful. Okay, I'm just looking at this quickly. And note to self, like when you get older, the glue sort of sticks and sticks, so probably use less glue when you get older. This is my sister's, she had Finding Nemo. Okay, I found another story. One day I got lost in the forest. I kept on walking and walking and walking and walking. Then I saw a cottage. I went into the cottage because the front door was open. It was very interesting inside. I saw someone inside. It was a lady. She said hello. So I said hello. <laughs> then she said, hi, my name is Miss... what? <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, my name is Miss Two. My last name is Fro. So she said, what is your name? And I said, my name is Willow Bush. What? <laughs> she said, nice to meet you. She asked if I could come into the kitchen. I said, yes. I said, do you have any juicy ice cream? <laughs> she said yes, so I ate the ice cream. Why is it juicy ice cream? What? After that she said she needed to fill up the petrol. Fill up. Not fill up. So, she, so I said okay. And she went. I had a look inside a magazine. It was very interesting. I was very interested in buying it, so she did. <laughs> After that we went back and I saw my mum so I ran and ran But I have forgotten what was after that but the end What? <laughs> it says it right there I have forgotten what was after that but the end Okay, that's a random story This is another interesting story I went to another wear and tear shop The staff member was walking very very slow She put the key in and opened the shop I said, you're early today She said because when I leave at 6, I arrive at 7.30, that means I'm late. And when I leave at 3.30, I arrive at 5. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. She went inside, then heaps and heaps of people went in. I said I'm lucky to keep a video camera in my bag because I can see more closely and I don't miss anything. Then I saw a person stealing some material, some t-shirts and some other stuff. The staff member saw the person and chased after her, but right beside her was a mopper who just finished mopping and put some signs around. He said, look how she had fallen in, then the staff member put her bottom on the sign. <laughs> then she went faster and faster until she crashed into the box of t-shirts. I dialed 111, then went after her. After some minutes, the police was right in front of her. Then she turned the other way and she saw me. After that she got caught and I never saw her again in the wear and tear shop again. Then I had gone to my lunch break. That's all. <laughs> what? That's all. I found some photos which I thought never ever existed. Cover the other people out just in case, but that's me. 
so I was eight or nine. But look at the cover. We had these, I forgot what it was called. Basically you can buy stuff and I just stuck the pictures on. Oh, here's another one. That's me when I was eight. So Brendan Smarts. I'm music smart, people smart. And that's it. Those are my smarts. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. This one is titled The Computer Game. One day I went on the computer. Something strange happened. I got zapped into the computer game when I played on it. I thought it was a strange place. I realised that I was a computer game. I had to think, but I didn't know how to get out. Then my brother went on the computer. I said, get out of here. Peter did not hear me. He started to play on it, and I started to move. I went into a hole. I, tr tr I tried to get out of the hole, but he was controlling me, so I couldn't get out. After a while, we he had to go to the toilet. He paused the game. I couldn't move. He came back. After he won the game, I came out of the computer game. It was great to be home. Did I actually write that? Cool car. 